Hi, the purpose of this video today is to talk about and demonstrate how to safely and properly operate a bandsaw, a woodcutting bandsaw more specifically, especially as it how it pertains to our course. So just because we don't cover something in this video doesn't mean that it is safe and the correct way to do something on a bandsaw. There are many different operations that you could potentially do on a bandsaw that we're not going to cover in this video. Some safe, general safety things, especially related to the bandsaw, that we need to think about first are we want to make sure you're always wearing safety glasses while operating the bandsaw. You want to remove any jewelry such as rings, watches, or bracelets. Anything that's on your hands, we don't want to have gloves. You also want to make sure you're pushing up any sleeves um, and make sure you've also taken care of any long dangly um, pieces of clothing, things like strings in a hoodie. Uh, Thing, um, headphone wires, and if you have long hair that needs to be tied back or pulled up into a hat. More specific to the bandsaw though, one of the most important things to do is to make sure that you adjust the guard correctly. The guard is this mechanism right here. So it limits how much of the blade is exposed to the operator. What it also does is help to guide the blade and keep it nice and straight. Now we want this whole assembly here to be only about one eighth of an inch above your workpiece. It's different on each bandsaw, but most bandsaws have some type of a knob or a lever, a lot of times on the side, sometimes on the back side of the machine. And we loosen that knob or lock, adjust the guard down to about an eighth of an inch above your workpiece and then lock it back in place. Another very commonly used safety item is something called a push stick. What the push stick allows you to do is to have pressure and control relatively close to the blade. Push sticks are also meant to be cut into. Sometimes you can see little cuts on those push sticks. So these are almost always shop made. The, um, there are store bought ones available, but because we go through them pretty often, we just tend to make our own. Something else to think about is that you don't want your hands to be any closer than four inches to the blade. So we want to keep a nice space around that blade that your hands do not enter. The, both of the machines that we have at school have a yellow area painted on the table to remind you of where that four inches is. In order to understand more of the safety, we also need to understand how the bandsaw is, uh, works. To understand how the bandsaw works, we first need to look inside. Both above and below, inside the shields here, are great big cast iron wheels. There's one also below. The one below the table has the motor attached to it, and that's the one that actually drives. So the blade is then stretched all the way around in one big continuous loop. So as that motor spins, it turns the wheels at a much greater speed, and it spins that blade so that it's moving in a downward motion. So it's important to understand how that machine actually functions and it works to understand these next couple safety rules. It is very important that as you're cutting, your piece is nice and flat against the table. If not, remember that blade is moving in that downward motion. If you had it elevated when you contacted the blade, it's going to push that piece down against the table and oftentimes pinch your fingers or other objects below it. Also, because that blade is under tension, if it were to happen to break, there is a slight chance that the blade could be thrown out of the machine to either side. So you also want to make sure that as you're observing the uh, bandsaw, you are not standing in this location to the right of the machine. For the purposes of this video though, the camera will be in that position because it is easy to demonstrate from that position. 
the camera operator will not be in that behind the camera at that point. The first thing we're cut we're going to demonstrate today is going to be a relatively large curved cut. So on this cut for the demonstration, this is going to be our keeper or our good piece. And then over here is going to be the scrap portion. Some things that we need to adjust first off is we do need to adjust the blade, the guard, back down to approximately one eighth of an inch above the piece. We should also always have our push sticks ready, so they should be relatively close if you're not using them, or typically you're going to have it in your dominant hand. If you are left handed, you could operate this machine left handed as well. Every time a former student has injured themselves using this machine, it has been because they've done one of the, have not followed both of the one or both of those safety rules. It is very important that you have that guard adjusted and you use push sticks if you're getting close to the blade. Remember, you want to stay four inches or more away from the blade. For this cut, we're simply going to start at one side with the machine running and we're going to feed it through staying toward the scrap side of the cut. I'm going to have my push stick in my hand my left hand is going to be way out of the way here, kind of steering and guiding. So we'll turn the machine on. Once we complete the cut, turn the machine off, and don't worry about that scrap piece until the blade has stopped spinning. The reason we stay to the scrap side of the cut is inherently the bandsaw does not leave a very smooth cut. So we want to be able to sand down and make that nice and smooth later and make it match that curve. Now that the blade has stopped spinning, we're going to remove the scrap piece. The next cut that we're going to demonstrate is a smaller curve. What this cut is going to allow us to do is demonstrate how to do a relief cut. Just like the previous cut, this larger portion is going to be the keep portion, and then over here is going to be the scrap. Now because this is a smaller curve and this is a relatively wide blade, we need to do what's called relief cuts. What relief cuts are is a series of straight in and out cuts that almost come down to the curve. What those do is as I cut the curve, it's going to chip away small pieces here thus making it less likely for the blade to be damaged. Again, just like your first cut, it is very important that we make sure the guard is adjusted relatively close, about an eighth of an inch away from your piece. Those adjustments are typically done with some type of a nut or a lever, sometimes on the back of the machine as well. Because my hands are going to be relatively close to the blade again, I'm going to I am going to be using a push stick in my right hand and steering the piece with my left. The only exception may be my relief cuts because I can have my hands far away from the blade here. So we'll turn the machine on.
now the relief cuts are completed, we can start to cut that curve. At this point, because my right hand would need to be close, I'm going to have the push stick in my right hand. As I cut through, those little pieces are going to chip away. Occasionally, some of these small pieces can get lodged in the gap between the blade and the table. If that were to happen, you would shut the machine off. Wait for the blade to stop spinning, and then you could uh, clear them away. So, just like the other cut that we had before, we now have our curve. Because of the relief cuts, there are some uneven portions, but we'll be able to sand those away and make it a nice, smooth, even curve all the way through. In review, some of the most important safety uh, guidelines for operating the bandsaw for our, the purposes of our course and all courses and operations are first off to make sure that the guard is adjusted correctly. You want it relatively close to your piece, approximately one eighth of an inch away. You also want to have push sticks ready to be used. If your hands need to be any closer than four inches to the blade, you should have a push stick in that hand. It's also very important because the blade moves in that rotational direction, forcing the piece down, that it is always flat against the table rather than elevated even slightly at an angle. We're of course going to be wearing safety glasses and you've removed all your rings, watches, and other bracelets. Sleeves should be rolled up. Gloves should not be worn. Uh, also want to make sure you restrain loose clothing such as hoodie strings and long hair. Uh, later on we'll go over some of the other operations that can be done on the bandsaw.